What's up guys? So today is a is an interesting video. I've always asked myself, being a supercar fan, as I'm sure most of you guys are as well, can you live with a Lamborghini every day? So Lamborghini known for having some of the most hardcore, uh, most supercar-ish kind of cars. You know, I've always wondered, I was like, what would happen if you had put all of your money into a certain car, into a Lamborghini, and you wanted to drive it every single day, so do all of your normal daily activities with a Lambo. So very kindly, a company, a supercar rental company from here, I'm gonna put their Instagram on the screen, have lent me a Lamborghini Huracan Spider, as you maybe saw in the last video where I went flat out in the car. They lent me the car, and I'm gonna be using it for a couple of days. I'm gonna be doing everything that you do as a you know normal daily driver. So I'm gonna be going and doing my shopping for the week with the car. Right now we're gonna to go to the tennis club. I'm gonna play some tennis. So we're gonna see if the tennis rackets fit in the car. All sorts of normal things living with a Lamborghini. Is it possible? Can you do it every day? All right, here's the car in my car park. As you can tell, it's pretty wide. So there's not that much room for error when parking. Now let's see if these tennis rackets, so this bag with my change of clothes and tennis rackets, does that fit? Is that gonna close? There's not much room for anything else. Okay, now let's see if I can get in the car. Woo! Not easy. Ugh. Okay. Woohoo! Love you, thanks for lunch. Wait. I have had the most annoying morning, filming-wise. First of all, this morning it didn't film, as I mentioned earlier, and then second of all, the camera was in the wrong mode as I was driving up here to lunch, and it just meant that you guys could only see the steering wheel and not what was in front, so I didn't really like that. So hopefully now, you should be able to see the road in front of me as well. Let's go. Anyways, after lunch with the family, going down to join up with a, a friend, my brother-in-law actually, to meet up with him. Wow. To go do our shopping for the week, food shopping for the week. And obviously, this is the only car we're allowed to use at the moment, living with the Lambo. Let's see how it does. Two people, weekly food shopping. Is it possible? Sorry, this is, it's, it's ridiculous just how tempting it is to always, play around with the car. I mean, you've got an orchestra behind you. I did do a video, which is, you know, about going flat out in this car and talking about the handling of it, which mode is better, talking about all of the technicalities of driving this car harder. That video is online and there will be a link somewhere to that. Today is more based on living with this daily, but it is pretty unreal. When you light up that 610 horsepower V10, it's just unbelievable. So, now to go meet up with Emrik and do our food shopping. I picked up Emrik who doesn't speak very much English. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, you want to press the button? Go on. Pretty cool, huh? Uh -huh. Ah, yes, I'm already in courses. So we were looking at this. I don't know if you'll be able to hear the difference much, but this is Valve's closed Strada Sport Corsa. Yeah, so we're gonna go do the weekly shopping, shopping, shopping in course mode, which is pretty aggressive, but whatever, let's do it. Handbrake, electric handbrakes down here. This is, by the way, for your reverse, kind of cool. But to put it into first gear, you go here, and then manual, and off we go. Visibility is, uh, it's okay, it's not great, it's okay. Uh, little clip now, I was not talking too much, but uh, just to show how wide the car is. Driving just now, I had to put the, the wing mirrors in to get past this certain spot. The wing mirrors on this car are massive and they're causing me a couple issues when driving around town. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty stressful. Okay, we're going in the car park and the entrance is tiny. In some, in some of these cars, you can go under the barrier, but not in this one. Here we go, shopping. Please leave us the spot. That is the perfect spot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's mission number one. Successful, find an easy parking space. All right, perfect parking space. Those brakes, those green brakes look so, so good. Right, I think there's actually more space in the, this is what we need. This is what is perfect to come do your shopping. 
is the RS6. This, on the other hand, not the most convenient car in the world. Right, lock it up, let's go do this. Okay, first thing is you only take one of these and not one of the big trolleys, which like over there, because you're definitely not, where are you, where are you going? Because <laughs> you're definitely gonna, not gonna be able to fit any more than that into the car, so let's do this. <laughs> look, look at this. Usually you get you know, these big things of milk with the Lambo. You have to get one of these tiny little things or else you're going nowhere. Right, let's keep going. Vers avant. Okay, so we've got three shopping bags, a plant, two more shopping bags over there. Is this all going to fit? Bearing in mind, we tried to do a little shop. Emric also ended up getting some stuff for him. So we tried to do a little shop. Is that a problem in a hurricane? Your little standard shopping session. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. There's uh, flowers. Boom. Okay, here we go. Just realized I put the roof down and it might be raining outside. But let's go. A few moments later. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, milk. <laughs> milk. Convenient, you can put the roof up until about 35 kilometers an hour, I believe, which is quite nice. And then you can put the rear window down so you can hear the noise. So that's a nice touch. Look at this. This is kind of cool. We're on the start grid, and because the F1's coming up, they've actually put the positions of all the cars. So this is where the F1 cars will be starting. They've resurfaced this, they do it every year. Kind of cool. So cool. All of this, they've resurfaced as well. This is Saint Devots, the first corner. So the F1 cars come blasting down here and then they come up here all the way up towards Casino a lot faster than us right now. But yeah, it is, it is pretty special. It's probably the only place you can come and you can do your, uh, your weekly shopping and then drive home on an F1 track. Look at that. Driving past Casino Square. F1 cars obviously come a lot faster. Look at that, they've put the, uh, the grids up. Pretty cool. Okay, this is where it gets quite tricky now. Parking in my car park. <laughs> Can you see how close that is over there in the corner? This is not easy. I'm doing this without hitting the door. Okay, I'd say the conclusion on that is that you can go shopping, but it is really not very convenient. It is a new day with the hurricane spider. Today, not the best weather. So we're driving with the, it's actually clearing up now, but I'm driving with the roof up, which is a whole different experience. I've got the, uh, this rear window here open, but. So you can still hear the V10, but the roof is all of a sudden kind of right above your head, as I'm sure you guys can feel through the uh, camera angle, hopefully. But it is a, uh, it is different. A lot less airy and you hear the V10. I mean, you hear it quite a lot with the window open. But you hear it quite a lot less. God, I tell you the grip that it's got with the four wheel drive, even though we've got some, uh, some damp tarmac. Anyway, today, very daily driver kind of uh, activity. I'm going back up to my parents' house because they have something that uh, I need for my house up there and I need to transport it down. I have no idea if it's gonna fit. Anyways, we'll get there and I'll show you what it is. All right, classic mum. Uh, look what my mum's left me, a drying rack, which apparently I need a lot more at my house and she's not using here, so she has made me come up to, to get it. I've had strict orders to come pick this up, but yeah, we need the Lamborghini. So, um, okay, let's see. There's no way this will fit in the boot. Just for entertainment's sake, I will show you how much it doesn't fit in the front boot. Ready, and there is absolutely no chance. That is not going to work, is it? So, best solution is I'm gonna have to take the roof off, hope it doesn't rain, and put it in that way. So let's give this a go. Maybe I'll be able to close the roof after. I'm not sure. Taking the roof off. You can do this with just the ignition. Cross your fingers, guys. Okay, we're gonna have to do it the other way. Yay!
What a practical car. Boom. Great success, I'd say. The Lamborghini Huracan Spider has passed that test with flying, well, flying colors because it wasn't raining. If it was raining, it probably would have been less flying colors. But that shows that it is possible to use a Lamborghini every day. Personally, after having done it for a little while, which I feel very fortunate to have been able to do, I wouldn't recommend it. It's, it kind of takes a bit of the joy out of having a Lamborghini. Yeah, and most of the people who can afford to have a Hurricane Spider can also afford to have a little city car. So at this point, this test, sorry, was basically pointless, but it was very good fun. I enjoyed doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And uh, thank you to AR Performance, of course, for the car, the rental company that loaned me the car. That's been super fun driving around with it. I really, really enjoy it. Remember, there is a full kind of more hardcore review of the car on the channel as well. So links will be down below or wherever around. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to say thank you so much for, for watching this video as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, if you aren't yet subscribed, there's more than 60% of the people watching this channel who are not subscribed. So if you're not yet subscribed, then remember to hit that button down below to subscribe and not to miss any future videos. So all I've got to say now is that I'll see you very soon and I hope you're all doing well and thanks for watching again. Take care. Bye-bye.